Okay. So, we're going. What you're going to want to do is find an area which would be big enough to build a rocket. So probably this one. I'm not going to be building the rocket. I'm just going to be showing you how to do the underground thing. So you go down to where you think will be low enough. Then you put show coordinates on to true. So just type that in. And then it will show the coordinates. You can either dig this out if you're in survival or to make for a faster way in creative just note down these coordinates I'll just quickly write them down and then go to the other side where you would want the rocket to be so one three four five six seven let's just make it here then you type slash fill then the last coordinates where you just noted down so that and then you do tilde, 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 which means, like, the coordinates you are in right now. Make sure to leave a space in between all the coordinates, and then just type air. And it should empty it all out. Then, you're going to want to get some repeaters, redstone, pistons. And where is it? Can't find. Um, there it's scaffolding. So you're gonna wanna build up to the top and then just spread it out like this. There you go, that's where it falls. Wait, no, that's not where it falls. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's where it falls. So just spam them in. Just like that. And there, on the other side too. Just make a few towers, then just fill them in. And make another tower, just ignore these. And then just build from that. Maybe another one here, yeah. And then when you've placed them all in, go to one of the towers, hold shift or, well, sneak, whatever your sneak button is. So let me get rid of that. And then, once this is all built, I can't go down, wait, okay. You're going, this is what you're going to want to do. Get a piston, like this, and then... Well, if you want, you can power, somehow power the piston. So either put a repeater facing into it, redstone running into it. You can't do that, usually. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you can't do that. Wait, well, it's because this is bedrock. You can do it in bedrock. So just somehow power the piston. I'm just going to do it this way. And then link them all up. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Dang, it's so much gravel. Okay, so once you've linked them all up, just like that, you can build your rocket. Let me just get obsidian. Let me just build a mini launch pad real quick. Just like... Okay, let me just... Um, yeah, and you'll have your rocket there. And then... Once you've linked all these up, let me just, where's the starting? Ah, here. So then you're going to want to get some observers. Wait, I need to make them face down, wait. Hold up. And then just link them to the bottom like this. So let me just. No, not that. No, just like that. You just link them all to the bottom like that so when the top observer 
Oh. Well, <laughs> you just saw it happen. But when the top observer gets an update, it will send a pulse to the bottom. Yeah, just like <laughs> that. Let me just quickly build this up again so I can show you that. So now that you haven't failed like I have just done, you've built these towers up with the top scaffolding, connected some pistons up to break them, and built an observer tower. So now, what you're going to want to do is just update this observer by doing anything to this block here. For example, that. And just like that, you've got an opening kind of door for your rocket with scaffolding. And now your rocket can go back up to orbit. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helped once again, like all my other tutorials. <laughs> and now you have an extra mega rocket launch. Just like that easy tutorial. <laughs> okay, bye.